Hey, I'm Rachel Natalie Klein going into the box today on a segment we're calling Bad Broker. Bad Broker! While Into the Box recognizes that there are good, decent, truly human real estate brokers out there, there's a general consensus among New Yorkers that the broker is, well, a little sleazy. You have to be a certain type of person to be willing to sacrifice your morals a little bit. Like, I don't think I'd be able to, like, take people to apartments that I know they couldn't afford. They're sleazy and they scam people out of money and, you know, it's such a cutthroat business that I just avoid them like the plague. I, too, have had... Bad broker! He was actually my girlfriend's broker, a friend who was in the market for a multi-million dollar apartment. I meet her broker. Her broker is hot particularly hot, standing in the middle of a 5,000 square foot apartment with 20 foot ceilings and 360 degree views of the city. Hot Broker pursues me. Hot Broker and I go out for dinner a few times. Hot Broker and I have relations. And as soon as the ink dries on my friend's $12 million real estate contract, Hot Broker is M-I-A. So is it simply that in order to land a real estate deal, a broker is going to go to extreme lengths to get that contract signed? Or is it that the industry draws a certain type of person into this field? There's about 10% of our population that are sleazeballs. And there's 10% of sleaze in the profession. There's 10% of sleaze in almost any profession. That's the way life goes. To be fair, my hot MIA broker did phone a couple months later and I took all that bad behavior I learned from Hot Broker and called him out on what he was. Kind of a sleazeball. And certainly one I get to call. Bad Broker. We'll see you next time on Into the Box.